Hi, oh, the mic works. Oh my God, it's so exciting to finally be here on stage in Bangkok. I work in Asia. Hasn't this event been amazing so far? Ah, oh, I love it. So really, I could do this four times a year. <laughs> Yeah, as you already heard, my name is Carol, and I'm the culture and recruitment strategist at Yoast, and also the head of CloudTrust Hackathon. I am originally from Luxembourg, a very small country in Western Europe, <laughs> and living in Germany for nine years now. And I also consider myself an advocate for diversity, inclusion, and positive mental health in tech. You probably already have guessed it. This talk is going to be about mental health. So let's maybe start with the big elephant in the room. <laughs> Why did I choose to give a mental health talk today? Well, I struggle with depression and anxiety myself, and I have decided not to be ashamed to share this publicly. <laughs> Also, I am a firm believer that as a society and a community, we all have a responsibility to create a safe and welcoming space for people struggling with mental health issues so they can feel more comfortable and safe to open up, to coexist, and to seek help if needed. Seeing role models on stage was essential to me to be able to open up myself. And as with so many other important topics around inclusion and diversity, representation matters here. It helped me realize I was not alone in this. And if now I can be a role model for just one single person in this room today, or maybe later on WordPress TV, giving this talk will have been worth it 10 times over. Let's remove the stigma around mental health issues, and let's start today. So instead of fighting my elephant and trying to hide it, I just decided to accept it as a part of me and bring it with me to Bangkok. <laughs> and you can see it here in the room brought by my awesome colleagues from Team Yoast. So, what are indicators that you should take a step back once in a while? Let's first talk about performance and motivation loss. What you are filling your regular day with, does it actually spark joy? No matter if we're talking about your professional career, your hobbies, uh, your volunteer work, uh, your family life, it is important to understand that true Ambition and efficiency come and come, are, are born and grow from within, driven by passion. So what are your passions and what personal values are attached to them? When we simply enjoy an activity or see it as an opportunity to explore, to grow, to learn and live to our fullest potential, we are intrinsically motivated. Extrinsic motivation, on the other hand, involves external rewards or is avoiding punishment. Intrinsic motivation can be key to success and fulfillment. So if you don't feel you're driven by intrinsic motivation, at least partly, you may want to change that. Now let's talk about health. Physical and mental health are interconnected and interdependent. And make no mistake, your body will tell you and show you eventually with brute force and all sorts of physical symptoms. If you ignore signs of stress and feeling mentally unwell for an extended period of time. Do you know the feeling when activities that you always found energizing suddenly drain all the energy out of you and you can no longer bring yourself to do them even though they used to be fun? Have you ever felt like all you can see in front of you is a mountain of to-dos 
and even if every single task would be easy to complete, you feel exhausted and you no longer manage to tackle a single one. Well, this is all too familiar to me. What about you? If your physical or mental health are already compromised, it is about time to get to the bottom of it. Take a few steps back. And I am well aware that taking care of your physical and mental health requires lots of time. And this is where we are allowed to learn how to reevaluate our priorities and set them straight. And talking about priorities, I would like to investigate the concept of FOMO, the fear of missing out with you. We all live incredibly fast-paced lives these days. We see unique opportunities everywhere, and we want to grab them all, and preferably all at the same time. There's always another email or social media account that we need to check for new messages, right? And oh wait, here's another project I should get involved into because it could boost my career. And what about squeezing one more event into the already full schedule? FOMO is real and very stressful and a common phenomenon in our society and in this community. It increases the pressure and expectations we are already placing on ourselves. But what if I told you there's a way more pleasant counterpart to this? Meet JOMO, the joy of missing out. <laughs> You don't have to run after every opportunity. You don't have to attend every event. And you certainly don't have to burn out while working or volunteering for an open source project. Embrace the joy of missing out and celebrate self-care instead of FOMO. For instance, and as some of you may know, I really like myself a good party at a WordCamp. But sometimes I'm just exhausted by all the networking I'm already doing during the day. And I will never forget the first time where I decided at a WordCamp not to join the activities at night and uh, take a good bath, order room service, and enjoy myself some Netflix series while having pizza in my bed. And oh my god, it was so, so good. Trust your intuition. If the timing is not right and your priorities are not matched, there will always be a next opportunity. Start making your own conscious and responsible decisions and don't let FOMO decide for you. And in this context, I would like to point out the principle decisions are made by those who show up in our community. Is this really the message we want to spread in terms of sustainable contribution? This is fueling the fear of missing out. Not to mention that decisions are most certainly not made that way in this project. And one would have to be very privileged to comply to this. And I believe we could do better than to increase pressure on community folks to always be active and always be on. Now that we know the indicators that uh, tell us we need to act, what can stepping back look like? I like to disting distinguish between a reality check, a health check, and adjusting, re um, adjusting <laughs> and resulting adjustments. Who are you today compared to five or 10 years ago? What are your personal priorities today and what values are attached to them? Human beings are designed to evolve. And I am proud to say that I am not the same person today that I was five years ago or even one year ago. And I truly hope that in two years from here, I will not be the same Carol you're seeing today. I love to evolve, and I learn every day. And that's why I feel the need to question myself, my priorities, and my personal values every now and then. 
And I have found that in this regard, there is nothing more inspiring to me than traveling the world, learning from people with different backgrounds, with different cultures. And yeah, just like what I'm doing here right now at WordCamp Asia in Bangkok. Learning and evolving while traveling means wealth to me. So I decided to adapt my lifestyle accordingly. And today I live partly as a digital nomad together with my husband and little Buffy and we're traveling the world together. This is little Buffy, by the way. Um, what does wealth mean to you? And are you already living your life according to your passions and personal values? If not, where can you start to adapt your lifestyle to get closer to where you want to be? Dare to become a pioneer and leave the comfort zone occasionally as you step back to do a little bit of self-discovery. Change can be scary, especially when struggling with mental health issues. But it doesn't always have to be a drastic change to start with. Baby steps really can go a long way here. Uh, when, and they're going to bring you forward. The second part of the personal inventory would be the health check. Say it with me. There is nothing ever more important than your health. Get your priorities straight and focus on self-care. Put your well-being first. And I want to make an important call here today. Mental health matters. Please, don't you ever feel ashamed or afraid to ask for help. You did not choose to get ill. On the contrary, you are choosing life and yourself by deciding to get better. And you are all absolutely worth it. Last but not least, please never see the steps back we are talking about today as a regression. They are not. Before anyone can jump over a canyon or an obstacle, they first have to walk back. In order to build up enough speed with a running start to even make that jump. And the greater the distance, the higher the obstacle, well, the longer the run up and the farther back you have to go. But every step back is necessary to get you to the other side, to overcome the obstacle, and to finally move forward in the right direction and for good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.